Hello, this is Evan Rogerson, and I'm Motor Gang here, and today we're going to talk about batteries and how to make sure that you don't have battery issues during the match. Um, I know I said in my drive base video that the drive base is the most important part of your robot, but really it's the brain and the battery because even if like your wheel falls off the drive base, you can still at least do stuff. If your battery falls off, you are completely dead in the water, cannot do anything. So this is the most important part of any robot. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe in order to please the YouTube algorithm. And especially like leave comments down below of some of the stuff you use to help secure your batteries and stuff. Because a lot of the stuff in this video is just going to be anecdotal from my experience. Although I have been using V5 since it came out in, I want to say like 2018. Um, I think we got our kits like early 2019. So I've been using this for pretty much every season it's been out. So I have a fair amount of experience with it. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first thing that I would recommend is if you guys are using the VEX battery clips, do not just use one battery clip. Um, if you just use one battery clip, that can wobble around and that will come loose. I've also seen this, these battery clips snap before, like even during the matches. So like if that snaps, you are just completely screwed um, and there's nothing you can really do about it anymore. So I would highly recommend at least using two battery clips because um, if one snaps, then you're still fine. And I have seen teams where they have their battery clipped in at two points and these clips are some of the newer ones, um, so they're a little bit better. You can see that's not really wobbling around, but some of the older ones definitely don't for hold the batteries in as firmly, so I'd recommend using uh, at least two clips. The other thing, make sure that your battery isn't, or and brain as well, and battery cable are not exposed. So when I say that, I mean like, if this is, table is the edge of your robot, do not put your brain and battery like this, because other teams can easily hit your stuff, which it can get damaged, which will make your coach not happy, and it'll fall off, more likely to get fall off, or like, this could get damaged, and then you lose connection during the match. So it's good for both your coach and you. So if this is the edge of your robot, put your stuff going inwards, that way it, another robot should not be able to, while ramming into you, hit any part of either your brain or the battery. It should be secured, and if it does have to be something, make it be the back. Um, but yeah, have things insecure. Zip tie your cables as well, this is just kind of like a demo thing, but zip tying this cable can be a good thing as well now that's like decent i would say these are the bare minimum things that you need to have on your robot but then here are some other tips that i would recommend so like i said this can still come loose on you and if that does happen and something you can do to help prevent it from happening in the first place is using rubber bands so what i like to use these are size 64 rubber bands um i have a link in the top right to like my top 10 parts for where to buy these from but i would recommend double banding these and wrapping them around the battery let me go ahead and show that real quick so now that this battery is like wrapped around with a rubber band, uh, this is gonna help in a couple of different reasons. So one, like it's much harder to get it out of the clips now because this battery rubber band is like pushing in. And you can also kind of see now, even if it does pop out of the clips, it's like wants to go back into them. And it's not just immediately gonna fall off your robot if something bad happens. Um, although it can still have issues, which is why I would recommend actually using two rubber bands here. By having two rubber bands on, it's basically guaranteeing it's not going to go anywhere. Even if one of your rubber bands snaps, your battery is still secured. So this is how I would recommend securing your battery. Um, just wrap these around. It can be a bit more awkward to get it on and off. But then once that's clipped in, this really isn't going to go anywhere. You can see there's barely any wobble there. And the force of these rubber bands helps keep it in the clips. So I'd recommend you do that. Also, just another small thing is like have your battery upright is usually better than having it like upside down. That way, if something does come loose like that, your gravity is going to help keep it in instead of pulling it out of your robot. But that one's usually pretty small and rubber bands are going to be significantly more important than the force of gravity 99% of the time. Although you don't have to worry about gravity snapping on you. That's always going to be helping you down or hurting you. The next thing I'm going to talk about is keeping this clip inside there. If your battery loses connection, obviously that's very bad during the match. But also just having a loose connection can cause white screen errors, which are no longer causes for replay. So you want to, you can see there's a small amount of wobble in there between the battery and the battery clip. You want to make that as small as possible because that'll reduce your chances of having a white screen. Other thing is use a short battery cable whenever possible. The longer battery cables I find just personal experience are more likely to cause white screen errors so i would highly recommend you avoid those put your battery in a spot where it doesn't have to use a long cable to reach the brain and if you absolutely have to try and use one of the medium ones instead of the long ones um i also like weight savings i guess too so something we can do to help reduce the wobble is again put more rubber bands around the robot rubber bands are going to be a common theme in this video if you haven't caught on so what we can do is we can basically pull the band from there up to the front of the battery and that'll help keep it secure so here you can kind of see we have like this x-shaped pattern it's basically applying some pressure here so this rubber band is pushing in 
going up there and that rubber band is pushing in also i found like this one usually tends to slide off a little bit more than that side um but even just having it on even if it stays on for half the match that's still half the match you're less likely to white screen and disconnect and now you can see here when i go to wiggle this there is significantly less wobble in that clip up against the battery so just by doing that you're less likely to disconnect you can also do the same thing on the brain because as you can see here there's a little bit of wobble in between the battery clip on the brain. And if it disconnects here, that's still going to cause you to either white screen or lose battery connection, depending on how bad the disconnect is. So we can do the same thing there. All right. So you can kind of see there, we got these rubber bands wrapped around it. And again, that wobble has been greatly eliminated there by using these rubber bands just wrapping across. And I've also seen teams, I personally find this to be a bit overkill, wrapping rubber bands around like this way around the brain just to help hold these rubber bands in place so that those rubber bands don't fall off of there. Um, there's a lot of different ways and techniques that you can do this. All right, so that just kind of goes over the basics, how to secure your battery cable. You can see everything is much sturdier now. And even if it did fall out of those clips, battery is still gonna stay connected to the robot. So if you find this helpful, um, make sure you share this around and again, post your comments down below for things that you do to help secure your batteries. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.